Hey, what's going on guys? So a couple of weeks ago, I made a questionable decision. I know a few of you are probably asking why I did it, but I swapped my X-Max for a HPI Savage XL monster truck. Now the swap itself wasn't the issue. The HPI is in very good condition. It's got quite a few upgraded parts, as you can see, the diff housings, yeah, the shocks, the wheels. It's one shock tower is upgraded and another one is on its way. The guy I got this off, has got a few parts still to send me. But there is a few parts on the car that I'm not really a fan of. One in particular, the Surpass Hobbies 150 amp 6 cell speed control. Now I've had three of them fail on me personally and all of them have really bad glitches and delays and stuff. So I'm not a fan of Surpass Hobbies speed controls in general. The motors are really good, but the speed controls, not so much. But since it was in the car already, I thought I'd take it outside and give it a test. If it's no good, then I could swap it out. So the first test of my new HPI Savage XL monster truck. Let's see how it goes. Oh, the speed control's already cutting out. But yeah, they are really bad, these surpassed speed controls. But it's like you get no throttle and then all of a sudden you get all of the throttle. Oh, what's going on there? I've already broken the body. Oh no, just popped over the bumper. There we go, I'm glad I didn't break that, that body already. The guy I got it off I only finished painting the shell or oh, four or five days ago, or four or five days before I got it, so yeah, I don't want to destroy it straight away. Oh, I've really got to get used to this style of truck. Oh, I'll see how we go here. Uh, yeah, the shocks are excellent. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you can't, uh, you can't power out when you do jumps and stuff with this controller. With this speed control, sorry. Won't give you the punch that you need. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it does. It gives you too much power. It's very strange, these um, super speed controls. Oh! Oh no. The shocks are starting to come through this body already. Ugh. For a vertical style chassis, it's got a lot of stuff in there. It's definitely my heaviest 1.8 scale car. The other thing I don't like, these battery bays, the way they open, like that can quite easily pop open if something hits it or something gets stuck in there and the paint is starting to flake off oh no my very first second hand car my very first swap deal mm, hopefully it doesn't end too badly because it is a nice car guys I'd hate to wreck this straight away the speed control though that's definitely hindering my driving skills I urge people do not get surpass hobbies Speed controls, get something of quality. Definitely find it better in the long run. Oh. Oh. Such a heavy car. Oh, nice. That was very smooth. Oh, oh this servo as well is so bad. I had no throttle then. It's full lock, <laughs> I can't turn.
What? I was on the throttle. Why didn't it throttle then? <laughs> Every single crash, the shell. I love HPI, but this thing is a handful. Oh, that might be low voltage cut out actually. Yeah, that's full throttle, guys. Whoa! <laughs> Big game. <laughs> God, I never see a run like that. This one. <laughs> this one. Run, yeah. yeah. Well, there you go, that's how to get them running. <laughs> oh! And compared to my other one, because I've got uh, over 40 cars or something, this is easily my heaviest at that scale, at one eighth scale. I don't know how it's so heavy. Maybe just the big giant wheels, because these are quite big, these wheels. Yeah, yeah. It's good fun. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so do the dogs. <laughs> Might have to invest in a little one for around the house. <laughs> yeah. See ya. Yeah, you too. Go, no, 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 you love it already. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm really not sure what to think at the moment. Because of that spare control, I, I can't really determine how the car would be if it had a decent spare control in there. I'm going to have to get that swapped out and then bring it back out for another test. I haven't broken anything on it yet, I don't think. The body is just a little bit, you know, marked up and the paint's starting to flake off, but... Uh, I can't really say anything about that because my paint jobs always turn out exactly the same. One crash and the, the paint starts chipping off. So yeah, it, it still looks good. I might have to put a layer of that rubber spray on the inside. I'll clean it out tonight, put a, a layer of that in, on there. Should prevent most of the cracking and should prevent a little bit of damage as well. So we'll get it home, change the speed control over and bring it back out. Oh. That's full throttle guys, so that has to be low voltage cut out. I'm glad I brought some walking home batteries. <laughs> Alrighty guys, cheers. Catch you in the next video and as always, stay safe. Full throttle! <laughs>